So what's the best engine for your project? Unreal Engine, Unity, Godot, they all have their strengths, their weaknesses, but how do they actually stack up against each other? Right, so this is the Polyglot Programmer, and today I'm going to be creating the ultimate game engine list uh, to kind of help you decide uh, which one you should go with. So let's dive right in, right? So when it comes to game development, I mean, choosing the right game engine uh, can make or break your project, right? So on this video, I, I, wanna, I wanna do a quick comparison of Unreal Engine, Unity, and Godot uh, based on their their main features, their ease of use, their performance a little bit, and also, of course, based on my own experience. And I have actually used all three engines uh, at some professional capacity. I'm not just like watch half. I didn't just watch half a dozen YouTube videos about some other engines, and am just burping opinions without without actually have have my hands on when. Like, for example, I heard people saying that uh, Unity is only good for 2D. I just saw that the other day. That's just crazy, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's move on. But by the end, uh, you have a, you ha uh, hopefully you have a really clear idea of what these, game, what these game engines are and where do they actually fall short and maybe it will help you uh, choose your game engine if you're just uh, starting out in your game development career, right? So let's start with the big one, right? Let's start with uh, Unreal Engine, right? Unreal Engine is the heavy, ultimate heavyweight champion when it comes to commercial game engines nowadays, right? Everybody heard of uh, Unreal Engine. Unreal, Unreal Engine uses uh, C Sharp as a scripting language, but nowadays it's actually um it has a new language called verse which is already being used on unreal for fortnite and i was actually reading somewhere that is on when unreal 6 come out it's actually going to be the official scripting language for unreal engine probably you're still going to be able to use c sharp but uh you also have the option of using verse i personally have never used verse i only use c, uh c++ sorry not c sharp c++ uh i mean i'm on the strengths of unreal engine uh, you have uh, photorealistic graphics, uh, cutting edge rendering technology. I mean, you have Hollywood uh, movies and and series using Unreal Engine to to help them out, right? You have the Blueprint system, which is a which is the top notch, definitely the best visual scripting system out there, without a question. Was was uh, I think was initially introduced on Unreal Four, and the Unreal Four and 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 onwards was completely built around it. So it's really powerful programming language and you can do everything with just visually boxes and, and arrows and, and, and it's super cool, it's super powerful. You can build entire games without touching one line of C++. Um, I mean, it's made for large, large scale, right? And it's made for large teams and, and AAA quality games and even immersive uh, VR experiences. Unreal Engine also is really good for that. Uh, it has a really good marketplace, right? Uh, with with ton of assets now they actually they they even came up with a new one called fab which i i i haven't really uh dived into it but i i heard that it, it got even better right uh i mean i'm on the 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 weakness of unreal engine with an engine this big and this powerful comes with a steep learning curve right as you can imagine uh it's 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 a lot harder for beginners to start not impossible you can still do it but it it's it has a steep learning curve, uh, and it can feel very heavy and overpowered for small indie developers and small teams. And to be honest, personally, I actually started my game developer career with Unreal Engine, and I actually moved away for my personal and solo projects from Unreal Engine because of that, right? Because it felt like it was just too much. Uh, the development life cycle for me felt like it was just too much for a single developer, right? There's still people that do it. There are a lot of famous game developers that do it. I chose to 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 go away from it. Um, although I did use professionally in my in my my day job. Um, well, so yeah, so Unreal Engine is ideal for developers aiming for AAA quality, uh, photorealistic graphics, uh, stunning visuals, and it's definitely an A tier game engine. Uh, it's, it's almost perfect, but it's not for everyone, right? So the second one is, uh, Unity, right? So 
Unity is a very versatile uh, game engine. Um, that it's it's I think it's definitely the most I think it's the most popular one. It's the one that has more games out there at least. Uh, and it's very popular among indie developers, small studios, and especially mobile games. It's really strong among mobile games. Uh, it uses C Sharp as a, as a scripting language, right? And among the strength is uh, its strengths is uh, it's it's really easy to learn, really great for beginners. Uh, but not only made for beginners, but it's really great, really easy to start out. Um, it is lighter than the real engine. Right, the editor is a lot lighter than the real engine, and not only in size, but also in, and when you open it up and and, and etc. Um, it supports a wide range of platforms straight out of the box, right? Like like mobile, web, uh, VR, uh, Mac, Windows. You can just build for everything under the sun uh, with uh, Unity. Uh, it has a huge community um, because of its popularity, as you can imagine. Right, you're not only gonna find a lot of people not only on communities like Discord but also Twitch, YouTube. Uh, there's an endless source of uh, resources to learn from. Um, it's very flexible uh, in terms of what you can do with it. You can work uh, just as well on 2D and 3D uh, games. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I heard a YouTuber the other day saying that Unity is only good for 2D. Personally, I've only used Unity for 3D and it's amazing. I only used Unity for 2D when I wanted to make quick tutorials and whatnot, but for my own games, it's always 3D. Um, and it has an amazing marketplace, even better than the Unreal one, in my opinion. The Unity as a store, you can find anything you can ever imagine, it's in there. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, in terms of weaknesses, I guess, even especially compared to, to Unreal Engine, uh, the quality of visuals, it doesn't quite match with Unreal. But Unity is getting better and better with that. Uh, but to be honest, for most game projects, uh, e especially in the game projects, you don't have to worry about that because you're not going to make a photorealistic game. Let's just be honest, right? Um, and some people see it as weakness. I actually don't. But Unity, uh, the, one of the facts that Unreal is very heavy is that it comes with everything out of the box already in there in the engine. Uh, obviously you can also add plugins to it, but Unity, uh, usually you need to add uh, plugins and tools for almost everything that you need to do, except the bread and butter. Uh, so some people see that as weakness. I actually see that as a strength because it actually makes the editor a bit lighter than it, than it should be because you don't need all those tools that you're actually not going to use. So you only add the stuff that you're actually going to use, right? So. Uh, in terms of my, my final opinion about Unity, Unity is a very flexible engine. Uh, it's, it's, it's really easy to learn. Uh, it, it's really good for 2D and 3D, great asset store. It's an excellent choice for indie devs and smaller teams. And you can actually make pretty good, and there's some, uh, some, really, some, some really big games uh, out there that were made, uh, AAA quality, that were made with Unity. So for me, Unity is still a solid A tier uh, game engine, right? So, and last but not least, among the game engines that I have actually used, which is uh, is Godot, right? So Godot is a basically a rising star among open source game engines, right? Um, it got really popular, especially in the last couple of years. It uses GD Script as a scripting language officially, but you can also use C Sharp. is also officially supported. And you can also use other languages with uh, what they call uh, GG extensions. I've seen people uh, develop games with C++, develop games with uh, Rust. <coughs> and you can do that very easily uh, if, that, uh, if that's what you like to do. Um, uh, personally, I have used Godot quite a lot to develop uh, uh, small games and some of my solo projects. Um, I have contributed to the source code of Godot. Uh, some of my code made it to 4.3, for example. Uh, I have published uh, plugins and add-ons to the Godot Asset Store, which is open source. I, I think I have two over there still. Um, but I decided to move away from Godot and move to Unity. That's what I use nowadays, right? So among the strength of Godot, yes, it's open source. I love its open source nature, and I've always supported open source throughout my entire career. There's no revenue share whatsoever. You can do whatever you want with it. 
Uh, it's very lightweight. You can pretty much run Godot on a toaster with a graphics graphics card, right? Uh, and it opens super fast. I think the entire engine is like what 100 megabytes now, maybe 200. I don't know. Uh, it's amazing for 2D games. Uh, it has amazing built-in tools to help you uh, with the workflow of 2D games, and it's getting better and better for 3D. To be honest, there's still some quirks to be solved, but it's still getting very get better and better for 2D. Like I mentioned before. My focus is mainly on 3D games. I've always used Godot for 3D also, and I, I never had really big issues with it, right? Uh, and another strength is the community, right? It's, it has a really active and passionate community. Uh, maybe a bit too passionate uh, and political for my taste, but that's all right. Uh, itch, itch with it. I mean, everybody does does what he wants to do, right? Um uh, but it's still a very passionate community. People are very active on the developer communities, Discord and whatnot, right? Uh, among the weaknesses, uh, like I mentioned, uh, the 3D part, uh, uh, Godot is still catching up in terms of 3D graphics, physics engine and whatnot compared to Unity and Unreal, right? Uh, the community is very passionate, but it's still smaller, way smaller. And there's no official uh, commercial asset store, which uh, makes it that the amount of actual quality assets that you can get and find and use in your own projects is very small. So you ended up having to basically make everything, right? Uh, so my my final opinion about Godot is that Godot is a, is a, is a really good engine. The learning curve is... It, it, it's really easy to get started, uh, really light. It can run on any computer, which is not true for Unreal Engine, for example. Uh, it's really good for indie developers and solo developers and if you want to get started. The GD script is a really easy language to learn and has, although it, it does lack some of the some of the programming language features that I would like to, to, to have, uh, it's still a really good programming language to use. Right, and I mean, and it's not gonna surprise me if uh, Godot starts uh, continues to rise among popularity uh, and compete with the other the other two main game engines, right? So, but because of the the, the weaknesses, I would I would um, classify Godot as a B tier uh, engine for now, but it's it's growing quite uh, quite fast, right? So, I mean, my final results is yeah, we have A tier, we have Unreal and Unity. Uh, both are really powerful. Both cater for uh, a lot of different types of games. Both are very battle tested. Uh, and for B tier, we have Godot, amazing open source game engine, uh, perfect for 2D projects, indie devs, and getting better and better for 3D. Yes, uh, but I mean, remember uh, these these rankings. They're not about like which which engine is the best. I'm not saying that Godot or Unity or Unreal are the best game engine overall, and that's it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just expressing basically my opinion based on my experience, my actual experience working with all of them, right? And you need to take that in and you need to, to decide what suits best for you, where you are in your career and how do you want to start, which tool do you want to use uh, for your own uh, game development, right? So what do you think about my list? Uh, what do you think about the ranks of the engines? Would you do it differently? Would you rank them differently? Do you have any other features that maybe, do you have any, any opinions that maybe you disagree with me? I would, I would love to hear them. Uh, let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in more of these types of videos where I'm talking about my experience and, and, and if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please drop them out. Drop them in the comments also. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell over there so you can get notified when there are new videos. Uh, and also I'm very active on Discord and also getting more active on Twitch, uh, which I'm going to stream tonight, by the way. So don't, uh, don't forget to tune in if you're online. And thanks for watching and happy coding.